12 hours later and the nightmare finally over on the high five traffic moving again but all day this has been the story drivers stranded nowhere to go some some actually ditched their cars to grab some lunch and others they just uh, sat on the highway it was all because of a tanker crash it closed all the lanes 75 and 635 in north dallas Welcome to News 8 at 5. I'm John McKay. I'm Cynthia Seguirre. Today for hours, not a single car moved. Thousands of you have been following the story live on our Facebook feed today, sharing stories about people you know stuck, going nowhere. So let's take a live look from our text dot camera. You can see traffic once again moving on both 75 and 635 right now. After crews hauled away that tanker trailer that caused that whole interchange to shut down. More than half a million vehicles pass through the 75 and 635 interchange in North Dallas. Each day we call it the high five. Our Matt Howerton is live there tonight. Matt, this has been a really tough day for a lot of people. Absolutely, it has, Cynthia, and traffic is steadily flowing right now. As you said, crews finally able to take away that tanker a little bit after 3 p.m., but it took 11 hours to do so, and that's a pretty long time for one of the busiest interchanges in Texas to wrestle with closures. It was a historic mess. For the first time since it was built in 2005, the 635-75 interchange, or High 5, was totally shut down. All thanks to this tanker that flipped on its side early this morning. And drivers? It's been like this for the last about three hours. So it's, it's, it's bad. Battled backups for hours. I'd like to get home sometime this weekend. That tanker was carrying a highly flammable liquid used in the plastics industry. Good news, only a little leaked out. The bad, out of caution, the rest of the liquid had to be manually offloaded before crews could even think about towing the tanker away. And because the liquid is so dangerous, some of DFW's biggest traffic arteries got hit with closures and detours all day. Nana Bansu got stuck in it all. Actually, I'm on my way to the courthouse to pay for my ticket or take care of it with my lawyer. Dressed to impress, he was heading southbound on 75 to fight a traffic ticket in Dallas. Instead, he got stuck in a traffic nightmare. But we literally were there for almost two hours in traffic nonstop, bumper to bumper. Yeah, it was, it was hectic. The morning rush got the brunt of everything. Check out all these people just hanging outside their cars. One guy even went to go get food. And get this, Bonsu made it to his traffic hearing on time and beat his ticket. Unfortunately, this accident. I made it there. Coming back now, I'm stuck in traffic again. Well, it beat us all today. DPD says the driver of that tanker lost control when he was turning on that overpass and the liquid he was carrying shifted, causing the tanker to flip over on its side. And right now they say that he showed no signs of impairment. Near the High Five, Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News. All right, Matt, it's been a hard day even for people not taking the highway. Take a look at this. That's an ambulance driving the wrong way on Forest Lane. Traffic stacked up westbound. Those drivers were hoping to avoid the High Five mess only, well, only to get stuck on side streets. Area residents also complained, saying that they had trouble just, just getting out of their homes.